Hi, welcome back to the channel and today I'll discuss about how you can integrate your Jira cloud with the Microsoft Teams. We will talk about how you can send information from Jira cloud to the Microsoft Teams. So without any further ado, let's jump right into the video to know how we will do it. We will create a scenario here. What I want, I want when someone comment on this particular issue, the information about the comment should be sent here in the Microsoft Teams. So how you will do it? you need to use the jira cloud connector here in the microsoft teams you can see it's it's your team and under the team you have to create the channel i will use this jira ms channel here if you want to create your own then you can simply go and click on this three dots you will get an option to add a channel from here you can create your own channel i will use this jira ms and i will click on this three dots here you will get an option of connectors when you will click on the connectors you can find the name of the connectors here in the search bar and the connector is jira cloud i have already configured these connectors i will click on this configure underneath the manage and here you can see this is a jira cloud i have already configured it that's why it's showing one configured i will click on manage if you haven't configured it before then you will get an option to configure it and here are the fields there where you need to enter some information you can enter the name of your jira cloud connection and here you will be able to see the webhook url you can simply copy it with the help of copy to clipboard option and here you can see like notification will be sent it sent about the following events in jira cloud like issue created updated and commented and now you can click on the save and now you will come to your jira cloud instance so this is my jira cloud instance again and now if you are a jira admin you will go and click on the system if you are not jira admin then you have to request to your jira admin to do these settings uh, about the webhooks otherwise if you have access then it is pretty easy to go through my video side by side now here under the advanced setting you will be able to see the webhooks you will click on webhooks you will get a options to create a webhook but i have already created the webhook here then you can see i have to enter the url and i have to write the jql i will click on edit so that i can explain you better like when you will click on create webhook you can see the button it looks like uh, like uh, this is not looking good i think that lashin is working on that particular section that's why it is looking like this but here uh, is a like create a new webhook you will enter the name of the webhook you will set the status you want to make it enable or disabled and here you need to put the same url that we go to when we were configured the connector here like you will go to the connector and under the underneath the manage you will click on the configure in the jira cloud you will click on the manage again and this is the url you can simply copy and paste it here in the jira webhooks you can also use some additional variables to uh, get the more values here in the url here are the way how you will do it like it is similar a kind of a a smart value that we use in the automation rule but we have to use this uh, dollar symbol here you can write down the description about your webhook and here it's a really interesting part where you can specify a jql query to like match the issue or to filter your issues here you can choose like when this particular webhook will trigger right now it's on comment creation here you can see this is a comment creation if you want like it should be on issue created updated deleted or it should be on workload created update deleted then you can here we uh, have lot of options about the events like these are the user related events and these are the jira configuration related events project related events also and we have the jira software related events also like sprints and board creations deletion and updation you can choose what is your requirement and then you can simply click on the save button 
right now i will click on cancel because i have already configured my webhooks so now everything is settled like you already created the webhook url with the help of the connector and you have created the webhook and put that connector url here now it's time to test like it's everything is working perfectly or not here i am using this project and this particular webhook will work specific to the test issue type so i will go to the same project here it's better to choose from the drop down it's the project name here you can see it's a test issue type i'm gonna write a comment here and this particular webhook should be triggered you can write this is testing comment to check the webhook with the ms teams and hit the save button now ideally this information along with the comment and the name and along with the issue key it should be here so i'm gonna check yes you can see the new activity is here this is a testing comment to check the webhook with the ms team the issue type is test priority and we have the issue key as well along with the status if i want to see this particular comment or a issue in the jira then i can simply click on view in jira and this will open here you can check the issue and other information related to the issue along with the comments so this is how you can integrate your jira cloud with the ms team and it is pretty easy with the help of the webhooks I hope you like this video and if you haven't subscribed my channel then please hit the subscribe button and like this video so that other people also can understand how they can integrate and share the information from Jira Cloud to the MS Teams. Thank you for watching this video. Have a nice day.